So um, I'm going to talk about stashing with Git. Um, I didn't realize that during the course of the session that we would actually be, it would actually be useful. So uh, my name is Angela Rohit. That's my handle. Uh, you can find me on GitHub, obviously, uh, Twitter, and 500px. So what is stashing? And this is just some dry stuff. Um, you know what? If you see this and go like this, it's totally fine. Because uh, this doesn't make sense. So we're going to look at a scenario. OK, so you're working on your awesome product. And halfway through, your boss comes over and says, do you know what? There is a big bug on the release branch, and it has to be fixed immediately. You've probably seen this before. I mean, most bosses are like that. <laughs> so what do you do next? What do you do next, right? So you have, you're probably sitting there looking like that. And your boss is probably tearing his hair out because it's, you know, it's a big bug. So uh, there was a gentleman there earlier, and he mentioned that some of his colleagues copy the files out. You know, you could do that, <laughs> but but then don't cry if, you know, you get somebody overwrites your changes. So you could do that, or you could create another branch, you know, and commit your changes onto that branch, which is, you know, so. Of all the things, let, let's say you weren't using Git. Let's say you were using SVN. You probably have to do stuff like that because uh, SV, SVN, you can do another thing. You can create a patch, which is, again, you know, the whole point of it is destroyed. So for multiple reasons, you either have inelegant, infeasible, or just plain insane ways of doing this. So that's where Git stash comes in. And Git stash is probably, I mean, when I first heard about Git stashing, I was like, Wow, this thing is awesome. So OK, in our hypothetical scenario, you type git status hyphen s, and I can see there is one file that I have modified. There may have been more. But in this particular case, I, you know, I choose to choose names like super awesome file.cpp. And uh, Ryan is probably going to kill me for that. <laughs> OK, <laughs> so the, git stash. OK, what this does is. It takes all of your uncommitted changes and puts them onto a stack. And you can keep, you can have multiple stashes on a stack. And you can pop from that stack. Or you can take the individual stash and apply that. Um, again, does it make too much sense? So we'll continue with the scenario. So I just stashed my changes. I gave it a name, my super awesome changes, right? But you know, as programmers, we are all paranoid. Just because the computer says it did something, it doesn't mean that it actually did it. <laughs> so <laughs> so we're gonna, you're going to have to check that. You're going to have to check whether you know your computer, are you lying? <laughs> so I do git stash list, and there you go. My super awesome changes are there. It's at the top. It's given an index of 0. If I want to see more details into that particular stash, I can say git stash show stash at zero, and I can see that this is the particular file which was modified in the first place. So what I've done is all of my changes, which I was you know, working on, I was halfway through something when my boss interrupted me. And um, I took all of those you know, uncommitted changes, and I put them into a stash. Now I'm totally free. So super awesome file is in the stash. Now you can switch to your release branch, make the fix, be awesome, stuff like that. Then you switch back to your feature branch, you know, the one where you were working initially. And you get back your st stash changes by saying git stash apply. <laughs> Very simple, right? And it's so awesome, I didn't have to copy files out or create another branch. I didn't have to do any of that. It was really, really simple. And yeah, thumbs up. You gave the stash a name, you don't have to use it. Uh, you don't have to use it. It's just for you to see. Okay. It's it's so that I know what the stash is, okay. because I can have multiple stashes. I can have different stashes all at the same time. I can apply them individually if I so wish. And if you do that, you've got to specify a name to apply. Uh, no, you specify. You specify that one stash at and the index. You say git stash apply, and stash at and the index. But you can see the names in git stash list. Which is useful for you to know, you know, what this stash is, what, what, what are these things that I've been doing. Okay. So 
this is like pushing the M plus on the calculator. And then push M on <laughs> the <laughs> I wish, I wish it were that simple, but no. <laughs> All right, so stashing is actually very powerful. I've just covered, just, just scratched the surface. It's actually very powerful. Uh, you can stash untracked files. For example, in this particular case, I had a modified file. It was yeah. easy to stash it. But what if I never, you know, it's a new file. I just created it. You can't stash something that Git doesn't know about, right? But you can. And you can stash if you want particular files, not all your files. You can stash some files or even portions of files. You can apply specific stashes, as you asked. So you can do all of these things, you can do more. Mm, any questions? You stash one file, and then it goes away from your working directory, and it gets stashed. So you can't stash it again, because it's already stashed. Pardon? You, it's, it gets stored into your stash list. And that's why you see it. But I mean, if you've already stashed the file, you can't stash it again. So a portion of a file. So what happens is you've made changes into a file. And you have what we call the portions are called hunks. It's just it's not an attractive mail. It's just, you know. <laughs> and um, what they are is you can see the portions by doing git stash hyphen p. And you can actually see interactively, what are the portions of the file that you have changed, and you can stash them individually. You, I encourage you to go and check out the man pages, or bro pages, whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I didn't make that up. It's, that's actually the thing. Um, does the index uh, change when you stash the things file onto the stash? Pardon? Say again? Okay, is it a last in first So the, when you stash yes. the second one, so the index changes when Yes. It's a stack. Do you have any recommendations for when to delete your stash? Uh, if you don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Why else would you delete something? So I mean, uh, when you, after you pop it, is that usually when you release it? Yeah, yeah. So let's say you, you can pop it, and it doesn't mean that you want to delete it immediately, because you may just want to play with it a little more before you know, discard the changes. So if you pop it, and then you, you're ready to go, you can delete it later. That's probably in a cleanup later. You can see, oh, I've got all of these stashes. I don't need them anymore. You can delete them individually. Sorry, it says you can stash untracked files. Does it do it by default? No, no. You have to do git stash hyphen u, ah, okay. and that's for untracked. And then it will take in whatever. It'll take everything. Everything that's in that direction. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So consider a scenario where I was working on a file, and there was a fix. Uh, hmm. There was a fix that I was working on. Okay. And I stashed that. Okay. But coincidentally, other fix was on the same file. And okay. And then I used uh, the file with, with no changes. And then started working on that. Okay. Let's say, and then I commit that file. Okay. How do I bring back this stash? You can still bring it back. It's stash apply. You can always bring it back. But it, will it have both the changes which I have committed? Oh, you may have merge conflicts depending. So when you bring it back, basically it tries to merge it. So you will have, in your case, you would have merge conflicts. Yeah. Thanks. Any more questions? So when we rename a file, uh, does the stash uh, goes away? Uh, when you rename a file, yeah. uh, you can't rename the file that has been stashed. Okay. You can, the stash changes are separate from what you're doing. Stash basically, when I stash, my, my working directory is now clean. So you can't, I mean, there's no changes in there. Uh, does that make sense? No. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you very much.